Hi, fourth graders. So today we're going to learn the second part of our second lesson on module one. And our target is still going to be the same thing where it's I can recognize a digit as 10 times the value of what it represents in the place to its right. But today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So yesterday what we were working on was always using a chart. And when we use our unit chart, so like that, we know when we have, let's say, four tens and two ones, we have, we represent it here in our chart. And when we multiply it by 10, each value is going to move over to its left one more time. So this 10 is going to move over to the hundreds to show that there's four hundreds now, and the one or the two ones is going to move over to our tens, and then we're going to end it with a zero. So when we do four tens and two ones times ten, we end up with four hundreds, two tens, and zero ones, which equals four hundred twenty. Now, for today, we're going to look at it a little bit differently. When we look at Multiplication, we see that we are going to it, or we're moving the numbers to the left because when we move to the left, it is 10 times more than the value on its right. Now, what is the opposite of multiplication? Well, if addition and subtraction are opposites, multiplication and division are opposites. So, what does that mean when we look at a unit placement chart? Well, when we look at our chart, let's say we have our 400, our 400s, two tens, and zero ones. Okay, well, if there's zero, we don't really need to mark zero. So if we have 400s and two tens, and we want to say 400s and two tens divided by 10, what would we get there? Which way would we have to go? Well, multiplication, so multiplication goes to the left. Division, you move to the right. Okay, this information is an important part when you're using a unit placement chart. Okay, so I used black to show multiplication. I'm going to show red to show division. Okay, so now we're moving everything to the right. So then now when we start this four tens or four hundreds, that's going to move over here to the right to show four tens. Because remember, we had 40 tens to make 100, and when we divide all of that by 10, we're going to end up with four tens left. And then now our two tens will move here to become two ones. Now, what does that look like when we use our dots? So I'll show you what it looks like with the dots. But just know you can use the numbers if it's helpful for you. So if we have four hundreds, Okay, those four hundreds actually equals 40 tens. So see why using dots is a little bit too long. It takes so long to draw all these dots. So there are 40 tens there. And if we group them up, so here, let me use the red. If we, use, if we group them up, this row of 10, or there's one row of 10, two rows of 10, three rows of 10, and four rows of 10. We just divided our 40 tens into, or we divide our 40 tens by 10, and that ends up with four whole columns of 10, which means we have four tens. Okay? So, just to show you, Four hundreds 
that equals 40 tenths. And then when we, when we divide our 40 tenths by 10, we end up with 4 tenths. Okay. Now our 2 tenths, that equaled 20 ones. And when we divide that by 10, we end up with 2 ones. So four hundreds and two tenths divided by ten equals four tenths, two ones, which equals forty two. Sorry, couldn't see. So four tenths and or four hundreds and two tenths divided by ten equals four tens and two ones, which equals forty-two. Okay. So here's another example. We're looking at an example from number three. I changed the problem just a little bit, and we're only going to do one of them. So we have three thousands and five tens divided by ten. Well, what would that look like? So we're going to start out with three thousandths and five tenths. And when we have three thousandths and five tenths, we're dividing by ten. So which way do they go? Well, I hope you're thinking that they go to the right because we are dividing. So three thousandths would become three hundredths. Oh, hold on, let me do different color. 3,000 will become 3 hundreds. 5 tenths will become 5 ones. So in our unit form, we have 3 hundreds, 5 ones. And you can shorten hundreds if you'd like to save some space. And then standard form, is so we have 3 hundreds, we have 0 in our tenth spot. And then we have five in our one spot. So we have 305. So for your must-dos for today, I'm going to be posting it into or down below in our video or off our video. And I'm going to post it also just a text so you can see in your blue journal. But you're going to work on 1C. So 1C. And then on number three, you're going to work on the last two problems. So it says six thousands, four tenths divided by ten, and four ten thousands, and three tenths divided by ten. Okay? That's it for your assignment for today. If you have any questions, please make sure you send me messages on Canvas, and I will do my best to help you. All right, Jaguars, I will see you in the next one.